Welcome back. Please share, subscribe, and comment. An auto pin or signing machine is a device used for the automatic signing of a signature. Prominent individuals may be asked to provide their signatures many times a day, such as celebrities receiving requests for autographs or politicians signing documents and correspondence in their official capacities. Consequently, many public figures employ auto pins to allow their signature to be printed on demand and without their direct involvement. Though manual precursors of the modern auto pen have existed since at least 1803, 21st century auto pens are machines that are programmed with a signature, which is then reproduced by a motorized mechanical arm holding a pen. Given the exact verisimilitude to the real hand signature, the use of the auto pen allows for a small degree of wishful thinking and plausible deniability as to whether a famous autograph is real or reproduced, thus increasing the perception of the personal value of the signature by the lay recipient. However, known or suspected autopin signatures are also vastly less valuable as philographic collectibles. Legitimate hand-signed documents from individuals known to also use an autopin usually require verification and provenance to be considered valid. Early auto pens used a plastic matrix of the original signature, which is a channel cut into an engraved plate in the shape of a wheel. A style is driven by an electric motor followed the X and Y axis of a profile or shape engraved in the plate, which is why it is called a matrix. The stylus is mechanically connected to an arm, which can hold almost any common writing instrument. So the favorite pen and ink can be used to suggest authenticity. The auto pen signature is made with even pressure and indentation in the paper, which is how these machines are distinguishable from original handwriting, where the pressure varies. History, the first signature duplicating machines were developed by Englishman John Isaac Hawkins. Hawkins received a United States patent for his device in 1803 called a polygraph, an abstracted version of the pantograph in which the user may write with one pen and have their writing simultaneously reproduced by an attached second pen. Thomas Jefferson used the device extensively during his presidency. This device bears little resemblance to today's auto pens in design or operation. The auto pen called the robot pen was developed in the 1930s and became commercially available in 1937, used as a storage unit device, similar in principle to how vinyl records store information to record a signer's signature. A small segment of the record could be removed and stored elsewhere to prevent misuse. The machine would then be able to mass produce a template signature when needed. While the robot pen was commercially available, the first commercially successful auto pen was developed by Robert M. DeShazo Jr. in 1942. DeShazo developed the technology that became the modern auto pen in reference to a request for quote, RFQ from the Navy and in 1942, received an order for the machine from the Secretary of the Navy. This was the beginning of a significant market in government for the auto pen, as the machines soon ended up in the offices of members of Congress, the Senate, and the executive branches. At one point, duh, Chazo estimated there were more than 500 auto pens in use in Washington, D.C. Use individuals who use auto pens often do not disclose this publicly. Signatures generated by machines are valued less than those created manually and perceived by their recipients as somewhat inauthentic. In 2004, Donald Rumsfeld, then the U.S. Secretary of Defense, incurred criticism after it was discovered that his office used an auto pen to sign letters of condolence to families of American soldiers who were killed in war. Outside of politics, it was reported in November 2022 that some copies of the philosophy of modern song a book by singer-songwriter Bob Dylan that had been published earlier that month, had been signed with an auto pen, resulting in criticism. Autographed editions had been marketed as hand-signed and priced at $600 US each. Both Dylan and the book's publisher, Simon & Schuster, issued apologies. Refunds were also offered to customers who had bought auto pen signed editions. In addition, Dylan also said that some prints of his artwork sold after 2019 had been signed with an auto pen, which he further apologized for and attributed his use of the machine to vertigo and the COVID-19 pandemic, the latter of which prevented him from meeting with staff to facilitate signing the works in question. U.S. presidents, it has long been known that the President of the United States uses multiple auto pen systems to sign many official documents, e.g. military, diplomatic, and judicial commissions. 
some acts of Congress, executive directives, letters, and other correspondence. Due to the volume of such documents requiring their signature per the U.S. Constitution, some say Harry Truman was the first president to use the auto pen as a way of responding to mail and signing checks. Others credit Gerald Ford as the first president to openly acknowledge his use of the auto pen, but Lyndon Johnson allowed photographs of his auto pen to be taken while he was in office. And in 1968, the National Enquirer ran them along with the front page headline, The Robot That Sits In for the President. While visiting France, Barack Obama authorized the use of an auto pen to create his signature, which signed into law. An extension of three provisions of the Patriot Act. On January 3, 2013, he signed the extension to the Bush tax cuts, using the auto pen while vacationing in Hawaii. In order to sign it by the required deadline, his other alternative would have been to have had the bill flown to him overnight. Republican leaders questioned whether this use of the auto pen met the constitutional requirement for signing a bill into law, but the validity of presidential use of an auto pen had not been actually tested in court. In 2005, George W. Bush asked for and received a favorable opinion from the Department of Justice regarding the constitutionality of using the auto pen, but did not use it himself. In May 2024, Joe Biden directed an auto pen be used to sign legislation, providing a one-week funding extension for the Federal Aviation Administration. Biden was traveling in San Francisco at the time and wished to avoid any lapse in FAA operations while a five-year funding bill was being voted on by Congress. Similar devices further developing the class of devices known as auto pens. Canadian author Margaret Atwood created a device called the long pen which allows audio and video conversation between the fan and author while a book is being signed remotely.